When I'm working with wider mortises, I'm hesitant to try to chop them out. Because essentially working with, in this case, a one inch wide mortise, I have to drive one inches of steel into this mortise. And that's a hell of a lot of work. Not only is it a lot of stress on the cutting edge, but it's a lot of stress on the wood itself. And the going is really, really slow trying to move that much steel into it. My widest mortising chisel is about a half an inch. So when I yarn into a mortise that's wider than that half an inch mortising chisel, I immediately turn towards boring out the mortise. And this is the other technique for cutting mortises by hand, certainly chopping, but then also boring it out and paring away the waste. Now the layout varies a little bit. And you can see here, I've got the extents, the perimeter of my mortise laid out, which is fantastic when you come in with a chisel. It allows you to line things up. You've got a good visual reference to chop that out. Well, when you're boring it out, you can come in here and kind of position a bit. You can start with a smaller bit and just kind of position in the middle and know that you're gonna be okay. Or in this case, you can see I've laid in a center line. And I've used a knife on all of these lines. I've darkened them in with marker. But what that knife allows me to do, not only in trimming to the edges, I've got a, a physical reference that I can drop a chisel into on working both the sides and the ends, but now I've got a line that a drill bit will center in. So I can take a narrow diameter drill bit and pair more out, or I can get almost exactly to the size. This is a one inch wide mortise. I've got a one inch center bit, dropping it in that center line. And you see the circle that this bit now scribes is exactly inside my lines. So when it comes back time for me to pair this out, I've got so much less work to do. And then my uh, ever so trusty blue tape depth stop. Once that starts to sweep away the dust, I know I'm at depth and I can very quickly work down the line, bore all these out until I end up with something that looks like this. And now I've got so much of this waste removed, it's really easy for me to come in here with a chisel and just pair my way back to the line. And I've got that knife line in here on the perimeter that I can feel it, drop it right in there and just pair right down. So this layout method is kind of like belt and suspenders. Both laying it out for chopping and laying it out for boring makes the whole process so much easier with a lot less guessing.